Hello everyone. Welcome to the Pictoblocks machine learning environment tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about classification in numbers. Numbers is the data science environment of Pictoblocks capable of classification and regression. In this project, we will work on the Titanic dataset and determine if a given passenger survives the crash or not. The dataset has two classes: one meaning that the passenger has survived and zero meaning that the passenger did not survive. Let's get started. Open Pictoblocks and select the Python coding environment. Go to the machine learning environment by selecting the Open ML environment option under the files tab. Click on the create new project option to initialize your project. Type an appropriate project name and select numbers CR as the model type. Click the create project button to see the numbers CR window. In the numbers environment, you can add data by either uploading a dataset or by creating one. For this project, we will be using the Titanic dataset. Hence, click on the upload dataset button and navigate to the dataset. You will be able to see the dataset in the numbers window. By default, the select all box is checked. Now it's time to pre-process our data before training. Datasets and real-world data in general are rarely ever fit enough to undergo training and often require pre-processing. In the Titanic dataset, we need to drop a few columns and encode a few columns from text to number. Uncheck the select all button. Machine learning classifiers work solely on numbers. We must either convert or delete the columns that contain non-numeric values. Keeping that in mind, select the name, cabin and ticket columns and delete them. We can convert categorical values into numbers. Select the sex column and select the text to number button. Do the same with the embarked column. Now we have an entirely numeric dataset that can be used for training. Finally, set the survived column as the output column. Training is where the classifier uses the engineered features and trains the model to recognize patterns in the data. Using this model, we can classify alien data into the output columns classes. Make sure your model type is set to classification by checking the mode switch on the top right of your screen. You can use the advanced tab to alter the hyperparameters of the model. In the numbers environment, you can play around with epochs, batch size and learning rate. Do know that learning rate is an extremely sensitive hyperparameter and can greatly affect the performance of your model. Pictoblocks gives you the option to train the numbers classification in both JavaScript and Python. Just flick the switch on the top right of the training box to cycle between the two. Training the model might take some time. Keep a check on the accuracy graph while training is done. For this project, an accuracy score of over 0.7 is plenty. You can find the detailed accuracy and loss graphs for the model in the train report. Once training is complete, it's time to test our model. To test the model, simply enter values in the testing panel and press the predict button. Click on the export model button on the top right of the testing box and Pictoblocks will load your model into the Python coding environment. Notice how we have a boilerplate code ready. You can see the input values in the Python code. We will define Toby as a sprite for this project and make it respond to the input. Use conditional statements and the save block and write an appropriate message. Remember, the class list has two values, 0 and 1. 0 denotes that the passenger did not survive. And 1 denotes that the passenger did survive. Run the code to see your project in action. There you go, you made a titanic dataset classification model in python coding. 